Hi, Steve here. In this video, we're going to be reviewing Google Mobile Friendly and why it's important to your long-term search engine optimization. So in November of 2014, Google made this big announcement that shocked the industry. They called it Mobile Get In. And what they're planning on doing was actually giving higher placement to pages that have thought about and given consideration to mobile users. In 2013, it became obvious that mobile was going to take over in terms of the volume of people who were viewing the internet and what devices they were coming from. We saw by the end of 2014 that nearly 50% of users performing a local search for a local business like an auto repair shop or coffee shop were viewing from a mobile device. By the end of 2015, that number was closer to 55, 56% of users were on mobile devices. So of course it's important. Now there was a big panic that happened back during that period, during mobile get-in where businesses were thinking, oh my God, my whole online business is going to die if I don't upgrade to a mobile-friendly website. And that was everything but the truth. The, the fact of the matter was, if your website wasn't user-friendly on a mobile device, it likely wasn't getting um, users to visit it anyway. They're getting to the website, they're bouncing back to Google, and over time, you were losing rank because users weren't really having a good experience. So it wasn't a huge shock when this algorithm change happened with Google. Um, instead, it was more of a, oh wow, you know, we're getting less traffic, but our traffic's converting a little bit better. So that was a good thing. Um, it's still important. We definitely want to make sure we, we focus on mobile first and we, we give mobile users a great experience so that we can you know, double our traffic and continue to increase our, our sales and our leads from mobile search queries. So with that, Google came out with a couple tools to help. These tools have been around for a while, but they definitely got popular once this blog post came out. Um, the first one was this mobile-friendly test tool. So basically, you put in a URL. Let's use, I don't know, maybe our, our little roadmap site. roadmap.org. We'll click on Analyze. And we'll see if this website is mobile friendly. And as you can see, Google says, awesome, this page is mobile friendly. But if you continue reading, you can see that we've got a couple issues to work on. So if you scroll down here, you can see a little drop down that says show resources. And here you can see what looks to be a Twitter link, 2.co the Twitter short URL. So there's a resource that's potentially blocked. So what we need to do is probably go back, look at that page and unblock that resource uh, so that Google doesn't think we're trying to hide anything. It's better to have a nice clean profile. Also at the bottom here, you'll notice any potential errors. And in this case, you can see that there was an error, that there was a specific uh, JavaScript that wasn't firing. So neat that they give us, you know, whether we're mobile friendly or not, but also better because it tells us if there's some little things that we need to work on. There are a couple of different ways to approach mobile, and we'll talk about that, that in more detail in another video, uh, but the, the primary thing we should be thinking about is serving one URL to the users, not an m.yoursite.com, but one URL that looks fantastic on a mobile, a tablet, a TV, a desktop, whatever machine you happen to be on, a Blackberry, it's the same URL, it's just formatted different for the user who's on that particular device. That's what Google likes to see, that's what people like to link to. It doesn't create a bunch of duplicate URLs all over the internet, it keeps things simple. We call that using a responsive design. There's also another way of doing that called an adaptive design that's adaptive to each device, but it's almost impossible to manage at this point. So responsive is really the way to go. Your site responds based on the width of the user's device. Anyway, so this is how you run a mobile-friendly test, why it's important, and how it will help your long-term search engine ranking in mobile search queries. This is Steve. Thanks for watching.